Hi guys, happy Monday. Yeah, okay. So how are you all today? I hope you guys are well. And so, I've been doing a little more research on the Zozo thing and yeah, that's it. It's completely it. There's a really, really cool video or a podcast, um, Anthony Agate. So check it out. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's amazing. It seriously is amazing. It makes perfect sense. I, I like the way the guy thinks. It's amazing. So um, it is the Blog Talk Radio, The Conscious Mind. And you can also find him on Facebook, his public page, The Conscious Mind, and on Blog Talk Radio, which is amazing. It's one amazing, just one amazing podcast. I couldn't have said anything better than myself. I've also noticed a lot of people are coming out of the woodwork like freaking I don't know what with information that I'm not caring too much for so um, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I don't want to see anybody get hurt because now I just have a very very bad gut feeling about a certain person, um, their intentions, they're quite negative. Um, so yeah, um, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done with that for a while. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And my conclusion was what I said yesterday. So all right. So the, the staying, staying healthy and spiritual and all that good stuff, good shit. So today, my top teas that I have started drinking because of you guys. And because of the recommendations from Karen Dahlman and Marla Martinson. So you, Karen, have got me hooked on organic green tea. And I have a lot of it. I have a ton of tea, everything. So this is the good stuff. This is the really good stuff. Um, this is by Yogi. It's green tea triple enriched echinacea. And it supports the immune system function. So that is another really, really, really good one. And it smells amazing. It's not very expensive. Um, it says to drink about two to three cups a day. Um, I've been doing that every day. Every day I've been drinking about two to three cups of Yogi Green, tea, green Triple Echinacea Tea. And I've noticed that when I kind of get sick, it goes way faster. Uh, my allergies aren't so bad. Uh, I have more energy. Um, I feel better. I just overall have a better sense of well-being so I don't know if it's what's in the herbs what's in the tea um, I know there's more than just you know green tea and triple echinacea it's very good very very good and it doesn't contain caffeine it contains 29 grams of caffeine compared to 49 grams of caffeine in a cup of coffee so this is yeah I wouldn't drink it before bedtime but it, I just I love this the yogi the yogi they, it, it's a very, um, it's very yogic, yogic, if that's even a word. I don't know, it gets you all kinds of just tips and how to meditate. Just, it, it's some really good stuff, really good tea. So the nutritional facts, you get echinacea, perpea root extract, you get elderberry extract, you get a very large blend of herbs, organic green leaf tea, organic lemongrass, organic spearmint leaf, organic echinacea, um, organic kombucha, kombucha. So, um, yes, other ingredients, natural orange flavor, uh, natural tangerine flavor, natural licorice flavor. So it's very, very good, very good, and I do drink it like crazy. I'm almost out. I mean, the boxes, it, it's just amazing. And you can actually go to um, www yogiproducts.com and they have all kinds of cool stuff and their boxes are really cool too so and on each tea packet on each tea packet you get a little message and it's just it's cute it's a really really cute I just I think it's amazing so you guys yogi tea you guys are amazing for doing that you get a little message on each of the tea the tea bag and I just thought it was really cute. So that is my first, first tea that I love. 
love it. It is amazing. I'm hooked. I'm definitely addicted to this. So that is the Yogi Green Tea Triple Echinacea. And so, yeah, I've noticed uh, my body. It's, it's uh, functioning better. Bodily functions are better with the green tea and the echinacea. It supports the immune system. Boom. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, um, in between my coffee and then my tea addiction, I'll have about two cups of tea in between coffee. So, probably about five o'clock, which is typical tea time, I think, in the UK. I'm not 100% sure. Don't remember. Don't remember what they said. What's going on behind there? Okay. My second tea. Everybody that gets sick, everybody's getting sick lately. Everybody. You have got to go get this. It is so cheap. Does anybody have a Martin supermarket anywhere? Anywhere? Um, Costco? Uh, Cos is Costco a grocery store? I don't think it is. I don't know. I've never been in Costco. Um, Whole Foods? I've been in Whole Foods like once. And it scared me because it smelled like B.O. and patchouli. So I just kind of left. It smelled like hippie. Like dirty hippie, not, you know, the clean, nice hippies. Um, so you can get this. It's gypsy cold care, warm and comforting. Um, it's naturally caffeine free herbal tea. Um, there are no GMOs. It is uh, no, non GMO verified. And this is it. This is the most amazing stuff ever. And it does not taste like medicine. So when you guys get sick, gypsy cold care, I swear by it. A lot of people swear by it. Wired Ferret, you swear by it too. So your gypsy cold care. So it gives a personality to the tea. The teas do have a personality of their own. Who makes this? Who makes this? Um, let's see, who makes this? Why can't I find who makes this? Hmm, I cannot find. Oh, they're compo compostable tea bags. Oh, you can compost them. 100% renewable uh, energy. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I can't find out who makes this. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, made by traditional m medicinals. So traditional mis medicinals. You guys are amazing. This tea, your teas are seriously amazing. Keep the sale going. Two for five. Or two for seven. I love it. I keep just collecting more and more and it just it, this has gotten me through the winter like you would not believe better than an antibiotic better than a freaking it, anything any pain pills anything so gypsy cold care um its personality is nurturing and warm the herbal power warms your spirit brings comfort on cold winter nights so reasons to love gypsy cold care and i do i swear by it um, elder, yarrow, and peppermint. The foundation of this tea are a classic European blend of herbs used for centuries. We love the aroma and the pungent minty steam that rises off this tea. Sip slowly and let your weary body be comforted by its warming properties. Fragrant and soothing. It's one of those teas that just seems to say, don't worry, everything's going to be alright. And then it gives you a, a taste. It's fragrant, minty, slightly sweet, and spicy. When you savor it in your mouth like you're tasting wine, you really get the taste of all the different, uh, like the menthols in it that really open up your sinuses and your, your chest uh, cavities. It's, it's really good. It's a very good. So, yeah, one, one to two cups initially, then one cup every three hours. Um, and it's very good with natural honey. Natural honey. Um, do not exceed six cups in a 24 hour period. Um, I'm guessing because of the medicinal properties in it. So, that's the back of the box. And I love it. I love these. So, okay. A little more, though, on the Gypsy Cold Care. So, the elder flowers used in this tea are sustainably gathered by hand by collectors throughout the wild regions of Europe. The wild lands of these areas are pristine and tremendously beautiful, but the old way of life is endangered by young people migrating to cities. We work closely with our wild collector groups to help keep wild collection a vivid, a viable way of life, as well as to develop sustainably programs that manage the, these plant, important plant resources so that it will be available for generations to come. 
So, you can go to traditionalmedicinals.com to find out even more about that. So, yes, that is the Gypsy, Gypsy Traditional Cold Care. Amazing, amazing. You guys would not believe the smell. <laughs> it is amazing, it really is. So, here's our uh, zero calories in one cup. Okay, and you get 16 packets of tea. And what's in it? Organic uh, European elderflower, 350 milligrams. Organic yarrow flower, 350 milligrams. Organic peppermint leaf, 350 milligrams. Organic hyssop, 140 milligrams. Uh, the pre pre preparatory blend, preparatory, preparatory blend, blend, 560 milligrams. Um, organic rosehip, organic cinnamon bark, organic ginger rhizome, uh, safflower petal, organic clove flower bud, organic licorice root dry ext extract. So, it's very, very, very good stuff. <clears throat> I swear by it. I swear by it. So that's that's my second tea that I do swear by. But I, I still swear by my coffee. <laughs> no, my teas are great. I love those teas. And that one just makes you feel really warm and you can feel you can feel it in your lungs. <clears throat> you can feel all the the herbs, the taste, it's very menthol y. Very uh, schnapps ish, which I hate schnapps. It's seriously disgusting. Um, I have yet to try the organic nighty night. It promotes a good night's sleep because I'm already on medicine for sleep. So it's passion flower. Passion flower. So let's see. It's organic, uh, non GMO, it's non GMO verified. So we get our passion flower from small farms in some of the most beautiful old farming villages in northern Italy. So walking amongst the rolling hillsides, we're always struck by the otherworldly beauty of Pesciflora incarnata in bloom. Harvested from late spring through fall, the truly long vines of the passion flower plant are machine harvested and hung up in the shade to dry, to air dry. The fruits are removed. But the the rest of the aerial plants, the leaves, the vines, and the flowers are cut and they are lathered, blended with the other herbs to make this tea. So, again, you can go to traditionalmedicinalmedicinals.com and here's the personality of your tea. I, I know it's very strange. These don't have really neat little like fortune things like fortune cookies or whatever on the tea bags. The yogi tea does. So personality. Peaceful, soft, and sleepy. Herbal power helps you relax and get a good night's sleep. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll have to try that. So reasons to love. Passion flower. We love it both for its widely intense beauty and for its ability to calm and soothe your nervous system and help relieve occasional sleepiness. Sleepiness. When the Spanish miniseries missionaries caught uh, chanced upon it. They saw the perfection of the universe reflected in its anatomical structure. The native people of the Americas use this plant for its ability to promote rest and relaxation, something modern people occasionally need help with, too. We've added, uh, yeah, we've added other relaxing herbs like chamomile, linden flower, and hops to create a mellow blend that will help you rest easy. So the taste is minty, mildly bitter, and sweet with notes of citrus and spice and it has zero ca calories blah, per serving and it has organic passion flower herb 360 milligrams organic chamomile flower 255 milligrams organic linden flower 135 milligrams organic catnip catnip 45 milligrams organic Hop, 30 milligrams. And then the proprietary blend is 675 milligrams of organic spearmint leaf, organic lemon verbena leaf, organic lemon peel, organic West Indian lemongrass leaf. And it's 
it smells really good. It smells really, really good. Passion flower, um, kava kava root works a lot better. It acts as a natural sedative as opposed to uh, passion flower. I guess my passion flower is old, so yes, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. So those are my three teas that I recommend that I've been experimenting with and they work great. They work great. They do the same thing as a cup of coffee would do. A little hyper, not too bad. So, but yeah, those are my three teas that I love. Um, I also have another one called Twining's Tea. Um, mm, it's more of a breakfast tea that I drink. Uh, it doesn't really have any, it's just plain regular black tea. So, but the benefits of it are amazing. Last night after drinking two cups of the after <clears throat> after dinner um, tea time drink two cups of the uh, yogi tea the triple echinacea and it will make you pee like a horse it will make you piss like a racehorse but it's so good it is so good and I also like that makes it calms me down I put <laughs> A giant fake diamond in my coffee or my teacup. I don't know why. It just makes me feel calm for no reason. It's a special kind of diamond. It's not a real diamond, my god, no. But it's big. It's about that big. Oh no, we're doing Illuminati symbols here. I really wonder how many people are gonna bitch about the Grammys last night about Beyonce's performance, about how it was satanic, and about everything, how it was all satanic. So I'm really looking forward to all that. I really am. I like controversy. I like controversial topics. All right. <clears throat> you guys ever get hungry? Snackish? Peckish, as the British would say. All right, so I get peckish a lot. And if I get peckish at night, I do a healthier snack than grabbing a jar of peanut butter and just spooning it in my mouth. I love peanut butter. I am absolutely obsessed with peanut butter. I have a giant jar right here. And yeah, and it's almost gone. So I have found Nature's Bakery, uh, which is another incredible, incredible healthy food bar. And this is a raspberry fig bar from Nature's Bakery. It is the best. Oh my god. They are so good. They fill you up. You feel good. And then I actually slept better too. So, and these are cholesterol free, dairy free, zero trans fat, kosher, and they're also glutton free and non GMO verified. And for the price of what you pay for this, I mean, it's quite expensive. Where'd my ashtray go? My tea took over my ashtray, you guys. Sorry, I'm flipping off the camera here. What was I saying? Yeah, it's just really good stuff. Uh, stone ground whole wheat. Um, it's just so good. It's very, very good. A very good snack. So when I get up, I can binge eat these instead of binge eating candy bars or something that, you know, it's gonna rot my teeth in the middle of the night. So very good stuff so nature's bakery you can go also go to facebook.com slash nature's bakery um, they also have apple cinnamon blueberry regular fig peach apricot and strawberry and then they have a chocolate one so nature's bakery i think you guys should send me a couple boxes because our stores won't get these in so i really like your your stuff. I only have one left, and you get six, six packs of two in each one. So, all right. At Nature's Bakery, our goals, our goal is simple: to give you the fuel you need to help power life's great journeys. Oh yeah, and to make it and your journeys jam-packed with flavor. With Mother Nature's blessings, we've created perfect harmony among some of the best handiwork, holding freshness ever sacred. Learn more about 
our on-the-go snack foods at www.naturesbakery.com. And don't forget to like us and join our growing fan base on facebook.com slash naturesbakery. Happy trails. So, this is what I love. And this is what I'm going to be taking with me wherever I fucking go. So I can eat one whenever I want. Because they are so good. They are that good. I think you guys would love them. So these are just some of my natural, good health foods that I like to eat. Snack food. Healthy fig bar. Let's see. Nutritional facts. Oh wow, there's barely... Okay. Serving size 1 um, ounce, 28 grams. Servings per, tain, per container, 12. Calories, 90. Fat, 20. Alright, total fat, 2.5 grams. Saturated fat, 0. Cholesterol, 0. Sodium, 35 milligrams. Uh, vitamin A, 0. Vitamin C, 0. Calcium, 0. Iron, 2%. Total carbohydrates, uh, 17 grams. Dietary fiber, 2 grams. Sugar is 9 grams. Protein, 2 grams. So you don't get too much protein, but it's still, it's very healthy and it's very, very good. So if you can, if you've tried it, try it because they're very good. Let's open one up here. And they do come in your little, cute little packages which are so good. Oh, I only have one left. Nature's Bakery, would you guys send me, send me some more? They're too good. They're way too good. So, okay. So I just throw my shit on the floor. So yeah, that is my, my go-to, my, my, my healthy go-to snack that I love. And I can overindulge in those and not feel sick. Unlike eating a half of a jar of peanut butter and then waking up feeling sick. You have a food hangover. You don't get a food hangover with fig bars. They're awesome. It's a very good munchy food. In the middle of the night when you wake up at 4 a.m. and you have a little puff. So, again, I attribute the teas and the, the good food and the natural foods and the you know the whole ground wheat um, to be you know another you know I'm taking care of my body my body craves these kinds of foods my body craves salad I crave salad all the time I crave all kinds of strange foods avocados I crave fruit I crave vegetables I don't crave meat because I don't eat meat I haven't eaten meat for a long time just a very good diet in conjunction with a very good spiritual regimen. There you go. Exercise. It's, it's all good. It's all good. And then you can add your crystals and stuff in conjunction with all of these wonderful teas and fig bars and snacks. What a very odd video. Why am I doing a video on food and tea? It's, they're so fucking worthy of it. That's why. That's why I'm doing the video. Those teas and that fig bar, that brand, they're worthy. <laughs> Completely worthy. They also have detox tea, which is amazing too. They have pure kombucha. Kombucha. Which is, uh, yeah, you gotta be 21 to buy it because it contains so many probiotics that it has a trace of alcohol in it. Like a percent, one half of a percent. But you still have to be 21 to buy it, purchase it because of all of those true live biotics that are inside and it's going to cleanse your system like the green tea it's going to cleanse the intestinal tract it's going to cleanse the insides and you're good to go it's good for the skin keeps you glowing keeps you healthy perfect stuff so that's just my snack foods and my teas that I drink so thank you guys for all the suggestions for the teas and everything because they are making a difference. I cut my water or I cut my coffee down and then I start to drink my tea and then it's just my body's happier. It's happier. Um, I want to go to bed when the sun goes down. I want to wake up when it comes up. So my body is going with the natural rhythm of the earth, which I have been trying to get to this point for 
I don't know how many years. Quite a few. Quite a few fucking years. Alright. Crystal time. I have a lot to share with you guys. So, the Virgo stone. This is the Virgo stone. Carnelian. Carnelian agate. And it's a very powerful stone. It gives you a lot of energy, and I think that's why I'm talking so fast, and I'm quite shaky. Well, I'm not very shaky. I just have a lot of energy. I love carnelian. My friend from the UK introduced me to this. And it's just one amazing stone. That is the Virgo stone. It changes colors. And that's actually the color of my eyes. Strange strange that it is the color of my eyes. Not today, obviously, because I have contacts in my eyes. But carnelian is an amazing stone. It's an orangey color, see-through, burnt sienna. That's what I see that as. So your carnelian, and this book actually is the new guide to remedies. Homeopathy, essential oils, crystals, and home remedies. It's a little book, very simple. Um, who's it by? Who, who, who made this book? It doesn't tell me. It does not tell me an author. Why? How can I give you a... Who's this by? Oh. Paragon. I think. Thank you, guys. Publishing. Paragon Publishing Book. Okay. You guys are awesome for this book. So, the Carnelian. The Virgo Stone. Alright, it's genealogy, so carnelian is a variety of uh, chalcedony, a kind of quartz made up of tiny, finely grind, grained um, uh, microcrystals. It is found in shades of apricot, deep orange, and even red-brown, and good quality stones have a translucent sheen. So, that's a very good quality stone, it has a translucent sheen. Um, it is easily carved and has been often used for seals or signet rings. Hmm. So you could actually carve all kinds of things into a piece of carnelian. Since it is an energy stone, it's a, um, a fire stone, it's of movement, of energy, an action stone. Um, the sources, um, carnelian comes from Brazil, Uruguay, and also from India. And that's where I got mine. Mine came from India. Indian carnelians grows redder um, on exposure to the sun. Um, it is readily available in the form of some uh, unpolished polished termal, tumble stones. So, polished tumble stones. It's got that transparent lucency. It's just a very good stone. But yeah, that is the color of my eye. It's very strange, very strange. And when I hold that stone, it just gives me too much energy. Way too much energy, so I have to get it, I have to break them in half. And actually carry half of a piece, instead of a whole piece. So a little history on Carnelian. So as far back as 3000 BCE, Carnelian and other gemstones were used in Mesopotamia and Egypt as amulets for protection. Carne Carnelian was also reputed to be used as one of the 12 sacred stones, stones set in the breastpiece of Aaron. In the Middle Ages, a uh, powdered carnelian mixed with water was taken as a remedy against the plague. I did not know that. So, in medieval times, gemstones were often identified with uh, different emotional states, and carnelian was seen as a healer of anger. Maybe I do need that stone more than I think. I do. No. Maybe just when I'm driving. That's that's the good thing right there. So, um, carnelian stones have a deep warm color. They also have an attractive mellow sheen. Alright, the healing uses. So, carnelian helps to ease depression and gives you a sense of inner stability. It can also help balance the mind when you try, when you are trying to tackle difficult mental tasks. Carnelian warms and stimulates the appetite and balances the female reproductive system, easing menstrual pain. It promotes a sense of attunement with oneself. Its energy is warm, joyful, and opening, particularly when it is placed 
on the lower abdominal area. Hmm. So, a little insight into the carnelian. So you, can, you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see the pictures too well. But that's just a little bit on carnelian. I had no idea about mixing it with uh, water. I didn't know it was for depression either. Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna carry this with me today and see, see what it, how it will benefit me. So that's carnelian. Um, also says here that carnelian was a popular healing gem in medieval times. It was used as a remedy against the plague, like I just read. So I love my carnelian. It is amazing stuff. And I do, I have that in one of my bags that I carry around with me on my crystal, my crystal bag for uh, just different purposes uh, to help me stay grounded throughout the day, um, to help, help me feel more... Uh, give me more energy, uh, just to kind of help, you know, help me throughout my day. Um, I don't carry it because I have added so many crystals to it, it probably weighs about five pounds, and I don't want five pounds in my pants. I already got enough in my pants. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, so this one, <coughs> quartz. This one was actually dug out of the mountain in Colorado. They are very easy to get out. This one was not. This one was tough. So we have a very special relationship. We have for about 10 years now. And I just love this one. I love, love, love my quartz. And all you all know that quartz is an amplifying stone. It amplifies every other stone and it is a multi-purpose quartz crystal. So you can use it for anything, you can use it as a wand, you can use it to direct energy, you can use it for your chakras, you can use it to draw symbols in the air instead of a wand. Uh, you put them on the t tips of your wand, walking sticks, anything, anything. You can empower, um, I love putting this on top of my tarot cards to cleanse them. I love putting that out in the full moon, let the moon cleanse it. So little quartz. Let's see. I don't even know if that... I don't even know if that's in here. Labradorite is. Let's see. It should be in here. It should be in here. Hmm. Yeah, don't put... Uh, don't sleep with carnelian. Do not sleep with carnelian. It is terrible. It is very terrible to, uh... I'm not finding quartz. Why am I not finding quartz? I think we already know, though. I thought clear quartz. Alright. So, clear quartz. Obviously. Taken from the... From the earth. I actually had a purple one, too. That I actually offered to the earth. I offered back to the earth. So, uh, genealogy of the clear quartz. Uh, quartz is one of the most common minerals found in the Earth's crust. It is found in countless varieties of clusters, points, masses, colors, and forms. Clear quartz is also known as rock crystal. Though the stone may be cloudy white, the best quality points are completely clear with an ice-like appearance. These stones are well-defined and may s be single or double terminated. Clear quartz with tiny golden needles of rutil is also called rutilized quartz. So the source, sources for getting quartz would be Brazil, um, the USA, and Africa are among the main sources of the better quality clear quartz. And this one does the points are like ice. They're very icy and very see-through, transparent. So. Uh, the little bit of history. So the original meaning of the word crystal usually applied to quartz. It's from the Greek word for frozen. So clear quartz is the original crystal ball, which its patterns and milky conclusions, inclusions providing inspiration for seers in South America and other locations around the world. Large lumps of clear quartz have been found carved into the shape of crystal skulls. 
by ancient peoples. That makes me think of the uh, crystal skulls that are like, but there's only six in the world. I would like to see one of those. I would love to see one of those. So just a basic little bit of healing uses for a clear quartz crystal. So clear quartz is one of the most commonly used stones in healing. It helps to focus and amplify physical, mental, and emotional energy. Quartz points can be placed on any areas of the body that need energizing. Quartz can be also, wait, quartz can also be used protectively in challenging environments. Brutalized quartz eases depression and clears negativity. Hmm. I like it. I like that. I also love my black tourmaline. My black tourmaline, I don't know where it is, but if you rub it, if you rub black tourmaline in your hand, you have to go with the grain. Just rub it. It creates its own electrical charge just by doing that. And then you can program it with your intent to absorb negative energy. And you would not believe how heavy that thing gets. Those things get so heavy. So black stones, I do resonate with black stones the most. All my black stones always get put out in the sun. All of them. It's just how I do it. Um, I would never put my carnelian or amethyst or uh, rose quartz or uh, I wouldn't put them in the sun for fear that they would get ruined. Um, amethyst, definitely, if you put amethyst in the microwave, it will turn it to an orange color and it will make it look like citrine. So if you get amethyst, make sure it's not citrine that has been heat treated because you're getting not, not the real thing. But yeah, the clear quartz, I love, I love the clear quartz. I do have one more crystal and it is smoky quartz. Actually, I'm not sure what it is. I'm very honestly not sure what it is. And this book doesn't have that in it. So maybe it's in uh, the beginning. Um, we have a program click crystals, crystals, crystals. All right, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm finding it. Oh, I doubt it. Oh, green stones. Nope, make me sick. Jade. Moldavite. Moldavite is a very good stone. I love Moldavite. Emerald. Aquamarine. Turquoise. Blue Moonstone. Um, hmm. Yeah. Lapis Azul. Amethyst. I'm not finding it. Alright, so this, this is more of a rose quartz that's been, oh, I don't know what you want to call them, it's been treated, um, it's a smaller one, a smaller point that I have, so all, all stones like this give off a natural, like I said, uh, energy inside, so I usually have this and my dog's uh, name underneath of it, and I program it to heal him and energize him because he is getting older. So I love this one. Um, it's very nice, very smooth, and it is a form of rose quartz. And I know you guys can't see the pinkish, but there is a little bit of pink in it. So, I don't know. Yes, that is. I don't know if you guys could see the pink. It's it got a just a little pink, pink to it. All right, so the rose quartz, it's genealogy. Wow. Excuse me. Titanium and iron traces give rose quartz its pink color. It occurs in massive pieces and rarely in well-formed crystals. So that that one was made. That one was shaped and uh, probably heat treated. So. I don't know. Uh, Brazilian rose quartz is used for carving figurines, spheres, and obelisks. In jewelry, the preferred way of uh, presenting rose quartz is a 
smooth, rounded stone polish to show the fine pink shade. A rare variety contains golden threads of rudel, giving a sparkling pink appearance. And I do have one of those, and I don't know where that's at, but I have one. So, sources. Brazil is a main producer of massive rose quartz stabs, slabs, as well as the flat face crystals of India. Madagascar and the USA are other notable sources. So the history, a little bit of history about the rose quartz. Rose quartz is very popular with mineral collectors and is also one of the favorite stones of New Age healers. It goes further back than New Age. This is not New Age. So the healing uses of the rose quartz would be rose quartz. It brings you a gentle sense of warmth and well-being in the heart. It is a good stone to <clears throat> have beside your bed if you have difficulty sleeping or if you feel anxious. It soothes physical, emotional, and environmental stress. It helps balance the emotional and sexual energies, clearing anger, jealousy, or misunderstanding. Meditation with rose quartz brings emotional clarity and peace and the return of a childlike trust. Rose quartz is often placed over the center of the chest in healing sessions to balance the energies of the heart. So, we all know what rose quartz is for. For love, personal love, all that good stuff all that good stuff and my dog loves rose quartz he loves it so um you guys can pick this book up um the new guide to remedies homeopathy essential oils crystals and home remedies uh paragon publishing queen street house for Queen street bath by one he uk <coughs> it's from the uk But it's got it's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's got grids on how to heal. It's got different uh, flower oils, lavender, um, all of our good you know crystals. Um, oh, we even have a who is that? Jaja or Marilyn? Yeah, gives you little snippets of uh, that's Jaja Jaja Gabor. I had no idea she was in there. Hi, Shasha. I talked to her last night, too. So it's just got all kinds of cool stuff. All kinds. Um, it also gives you home remedies if you have a cold. Um, it gives you the history of home remedies. Burn scalds and sunburns. Um, bites and stings. Just all kinds of cuts and grazes. Just all kinds of amazing just little tricks that you can do yourself at home. Um, so if you're not, you know, dying, uh, if you don't think it's physically, you know, gonna kill you, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor first. And before you start any kind of herbal treatment or herbal home homeopathy remedies, go to your doctor first, always. So, yeah, every book will tell you that, so. Alright, we've covered... I love covering my, my, my crystals. They're just amazing. Carnelian. I'm actually going to do some, uh, try to do some depression work with this. Be careful when you do use this. If you sleep with it next to your bed, you might need to have to take a sleeping med, uh, sleep aid. Don't sleep with that in your bed. Carnelian. It's fiery. Very fiery. Regular rose quartz point. Can kinda, I don't know if you guys can see that. Kinda see into it. It's got that kind of a a pink hue, a pink flicker to it. And then the one I dug out myself. So I love this one. This one has a very special meaning to me. And you can see how it looks, the points. Are very clear like ice so I do I love these and they just always seem to fit this one literally okay if you guys can see the imprint there this one like my uh, new might wand yesterday this one fits in the palm of my hand perfectly it's like it was made to fit in my hand literally it, it's the imprint 
of that that part of my hand. So that's very uh, very cool and very strange. So, all right, guys. Yeah, try some of these teas. The Yogi tea is the best. Uh, Gypsy Cold Remedy, definitely try that. Uh, Ruby Night Flame, I know. Uh, see if your mom would get you some uh, tea, some uh, Gypsy Cold tea. Um, everybody recommends it. It is amazing stuff. It works, it helps, it makes you feel good. Uh, the Yogi tea, yes, big good yes, and especially the Nature's Bakery bars, the fig bars. Holy shit. Yeah wake up at 4 a.m. and snack on those so all right guys that's it for today so um i love you all very much uh thank you guys for the comments you guys are amazing and i will see you all tomorrow what is tomorrow tuesday god all right guys i love you all very much give you all my love and everybody have a great day be safe stay warm it's actually nice out today so i'm gonna go outside and spend some time with uh, my mother our mother mother earth so who who came to the astro temple last night ouija pop i left a note i left a note um i seen some very strange odd 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 things so uh just let me know below and i love you all very much